If you want to report for multiple accounts on a single report, we have multi-account reports. These are a pro plan exclusive. Let me show you how these work. First, I'll set up a new reporting template. Once I create this, you'll notice it looks very similar to the general report template builder. The main difference is that the account selectors are now account selectors instead of campaign selectors. You can find these in the selector widgets. So let's assume I wanted to add three types of accounts to this report. So let me add three account selectors by clicking on this multiple times. The first account we're going to include is an AdWords account, the original test account. The second account we want to include is a Bing account. So let's go ahead and select this one. And the third account we want to include is going to be a Facebook account. Let's grab this one. You notice we could have also selected uh, an, a Google Analytics account, and we can also select multiple AdWords or multiple Bing accounts. So there's no restriction there of just one account per type. In fact, we can add as many as we need. So now that we have this, let's go and build the report. Most of the data widgets that you see here are the same ones that you're already used to. So for example, the KPI cluster can be added by clicking here. And then where you normally choose the campaign scope, now you will choose instead the account scope. So here we have an AdWords account. This is our Bing Ads account. Notice that the Facebook account doesn't actually show up in here because that has its own reporting widget. But here, if we said, let's include the AdWords account, then secondarily, we would select the scope right here. So the whole account is the only option we have available. Uh, we select a date range, we select all of the other options, and we can also include some KPIs for this. So let's preview this. And then on the report, this is what we would be showing. Now, more interesting are some of the multi-account widgets. So we have a multi-account KPI widget, as well as a multi-account summary widget. I'll add both of these to the account. In any of the multi-account widgets, you will have to select multiple accounts. So of course you could just choose one, but here for multi-account, I can choose to include both of them. And then I can choose which columns to include. I can reorder these columns as needed. I have to choose a currency, and this is in the case where the different accounts may have different currencies. We need to know what to normalize it to. So in this case, we're gonna choose US dollars. Now let's preview this to see what it would look like on the actual report. And here are the numbers. So notice it's a KPI table, but the numbers from both of the search engines, Google and Bing, have been added up. We can do the same for a performance summary table. Here I've already selected the two accounts to be included, and we can go and do a preview on this. And now you see it's rendered in a tabular format, so you see each of the accounts individually.